Hi there, this is a video just to show you uh, a couple of ways of how to duplicate or clone, um, make a copy of your feature services or your item or a list of items um, that you're working on. Uh, so here I have these sample pubs and uh, what you could do here, if I just wanted to duplicate this, I could go to export data, export to feature collection, make that sample copy and let's put it in um, some other folder. Let's put it in this sandpit folder. Now you can generalize the features or just keep them as original. This is, these are just points, so it doesn't really make any odds. Uh, generalization, that's for the more complex, large, lots of vertices, that sort of thing. And you, and you wanna re reduce that complexity for, for mapping, uh, more rapid uh, web display. Um, but it doesn't really matter, like I said, these, these are just points. You would put tags and summary in there as required. So we're exporting to feature collection. So it's now, uh, we can now see what this uh, looks like. We've got this sample pubs copy. Um, it's in this, this sort of sandpit um, folder. You can see down here, folder sandpit. So I put it in there. Uh, you can view it. It's, it's a kind of, it's just a load of JSON. Um, that's what feature collection is. So you can view it on a map and you can even view it in ArcGIS Pro as well. Um, but actually, we want a, what we call a normal standard feature service, you know, that you can um, have an endpoint to, an update, rest, all, all that sort of thing. So the second step is actually to publish. So we'd publish it. Um, sample, I'll just keep it as is. Um, we, could, we could have a tag in there, um, whatever. So now we just publish. And what you'll end up with this is your duplicated service. It's... it's complete copy so um, if we look at the content now and look in sandpit you'll see we've got the feature layer the, uh, that that's the, the the feature collection that we made uh, but now we have a an exact copy of that layer so it's completely duplicated schema everything so uh, I think there's about 300 records in this copy or something yeah 257 and it's a proper um, service, like I said, you can enable it for editing, syncing for um, mobile and all that sort of thing. But with the feature collection, which is this one, I should have, should have renamed that, perhaps something more um, useful. If you, you can still see the data, you see, that's all, that's all there as expected in the fields um, coming from that feature collection, uh, JSON. But when you go to settings, you'll see there's, there's just nothing there to, to use because it's not a standard feature. So that's one way of copying. Another way is actually to use um, Notebook. So here in note, uh, Notebook, I'm actually going to copy um, a slightly different one. Uh, I've got a dev one. You see this pubs dev. Um, so that's that one. So that ends in double B, that item ID. You can, there's the item ID. That's what we need. Um, let me just check. I think that's right. Yeah. So, um, so that's going to pick up pubs uh, dev uh, that layer. Uh, I'm going to use uh, clone underscore items. I'll put a link uh, in the description to the Esri docs for that because there's a lot, lot lots of parameters here. And uh, it, in fact, items is a list. You can feed it a list. So, I'm only using one item, which is just my pubs dev item ID, and I've identified this folder of where to put the data. Um, I'm then going to pick up the layer zero sublayer of of this, um, which is the point, um, and so I can rename um, the actual item ID um, because that's what this lot does. Um, I want to give it a different name. That's all. So it's going to be called backup of sample pubs. Actually, let's call it pubs dev because that's actually what it is—a copy of, uh, a backup of. Um, and I've changed the description and I've even put a tag called backup. One thing to note, you see how I've got folder is backup folder there. If you go back, to, if you have a look at content, you'll see actually I don't have a folder called that. There is no backup folder. So let's just run this. Uh, there's the usual top sort of header when you create a new, this is just a standard notebook um, and it always puts those lines in there if you don't know. Um, so let's just run all. So off it goes, giving me a little warning because I'm in administrator role, so that's pretty heavy, really. But it's you know, 
proceed with caution when you're an admin, obviously. So I've got this print statement here, just giving me the new, um, just to check it's got a new item ID, which it has, so it's great. And also it has print all done. So what's happened? Let's go back to content. Um, let's just refresh the screen. Now you notice how it's made a backup folder. So if the folder didn't exist, it will make it for you. And there's backup of sample pubs dev, all made for me. And if I look at it, it's your absolute total clone of um, total, total duplicate. There's all the data, there's all the fields, and it's an absolute standard feature service ready for editing um, uh, and everything else. So it's a real sort of clone, which is um, pretty neat. So here we have this very simple web uh, experience builder app. Uh, using a particular web map what I could do is use this same uh, sort of code to uh, copy that those components that make, make it up into a well in this case into a sort of prod folder yeah we'll put it into there so that's empty at the moment so I'll make sure so that's got the ID of this web app web experience builder app uh, so I'll put that in there um, and it's it is just that and, and effectively what web map it will be, will be pointing to in the link I give in um, put in in the description it, it'll give you more detail about what gets copied you know if you've used a dashboard or what have you you know as the item ID um, it'll explain what's copied I uh, just wanted to clarify something on that I mean th th this is a list um, you know this en ends up with a list so um, with this index so um, um, so this index is zero there where it starts we'll, we'll just pick up that single item that was uh, copied across um, rather than the, the layer number is, is what I mean um, it's because there's only one item there and it starts at zero um, in the array um, so with this one so now if I run this so before it was just single feature service. So I just said, you know, I just wanted to copy that. That's all I was asking. Now I'm saying, well, actually I've got an experience builder app. So copy the sort of main components of, of that and copy it to, um, where, where did I move? Yeah, so I moved it to prod, uh, but I've got a tag of backup on there really. I should perhaps should have changed that to prod. So if I go to prod, you see how it's now put the, um, web app in there and the actual web map that uh, drives it so um, it, it, it's brought across both so with this let's let's change that tag to live yeah and it's not it's not a backup it's um, prod release of So, so this is a way actually of migrating and pushing things sort of through and uh, you can turn to the feature services as well of course and, and include them um, I'm, I just wanted to put a production version of the web map really of the experience builder into prod so if I go to here now I've even got a pre prod there if I click on prod you see look it says prod release of web app uh, and the, the tutorial won't if I click on prod release of web map you can see it's um, the item ID ends in E88 there. You see, and that's what got created. So I could do what I like with that item ID. I could, I could put it into a user into groups and stuff. Um, you know, uh, do all the security stuff. Uh, and here we so what I've got yeah production version of web app. And if I go down here, there's my tag. You see, it says live. So there we go. So um, that, that's a way, very, very simple. You would have other things in there, I think, um, for housekeeping and, and just for error trapping, etc. cetera. Um, but that, that's your building block. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty straightforward, really, to, to clone, to copy. And there's lots of other parameters. Like I said, you can, in, you can include the data or not include the data when you copy a feature service. Um, but I'll put a link in there so you can um, look, look at that and see all the different um, arguments that um, 
clone clone items takes. I hope you find that useful. Thanks.